hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to use position as a after option in to extend the view in the odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about how to extend view using the xpath please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn odoo with different topics you can visit the playlist here in the playlist you can click to this odoo development in the odoo development you can see the list of different topics available with different task cases and if you need any help you can go to about page you can shoot your query to this email address all right and also you want to support this channel using two ways like buy me coffee or paypal or using this join button all right so let's back to our main topic like how we can use position after option while extend the view so like let's have you already explain the difference between the field tag then after the x path right now it's about the positions the different positions here supported by the odoo so let's say in the odoo training school student not here and yeah if you don't know about the inheritance concept please check the first session of the inheritance views i already explained the xml schema and the two tags you can use the field tag xpath tag and the positions here all right so this is the first topic we covered here this positions the fields like this the tags and how we can implement right the second one was the like how to use the field tag directly like this and this this is the third one but previous one like how to use x path using the full path or short path or directly you can use the field tag directly like this or like this all right so let me also comment this one and don't worry this code is also available in the github so you can use this code as a reference in your odoo carrier so like let's say record id then after model ir ui view field name student extend inherit like let's say list view model arch type equal to xml and then like let's say student extend inherit list view school dot student right and here we can use inherit underscore id and the type is like let's say now I, I hope you understood about this one right like this line this new line here and if you don't know please check the previous session also so the, our architecture in the XML side is ready and now we are going to extend this list view, right? Using the after position. So let, let's say uh, here, how to use the after position. So what is the, actually what is the position? Let me explain here let's say this is our basic tree view right it starts from here and it ends with here and in between you can see the different field name here now let's say when it stands to extend this view so simple like we have to add or like let's say the remove the fields right but let's focus about the add the fields so here like we need a position for the to add a specific field here so let's say after like create uid i want to add a new field or let's say after the sequence underscore seq field i will i want to add a new field here so that time 
the position comes to the picture right the position is like after or let's say the before or let's say you can completely replace the position then after you can also use the inside the position or the final is the attributes as a position so what is it how to use those po uh, like positions we will see in different task cases so this session is only for the after position so let's say here after this id field i want to see two new fields so that time i can use here like field name like id and the position so let's say position we have to mention as after and like it let's say i want to display the right date and write uid like this all right so this id should compulsory exist in the tree view this view if you didn't mention like if you mention here the field name which is not available here that time odoo writes the error during upgrade the module or like let's say installing the module all right so you have to make sure like this field tag you are extending using like you are extending the this preview using this field tag you have to make sure like this field available in this preview all right like after this id field or let's say we want to add this two fields that time we can use position and the value is the after all right so let me upgrade the module and if you don't know about how to configure automatically using in the pycharm like this like what i'm doing is like this session is already available in the editor level playlist so let's say i'm trying to refresh the patch oops we have i guess some error all right so we have an error here it says like does not fit a required schema okay let's see so this is a school type inherit underscore id i think this is the mistake like i'm using the type instead of the wrap so this is my mistake here and let me upgrade one more time let me minimize this code and let me refresh the patch let me go to in the list view here now you can see after the id field you can see these two fields update right so same like you can also use this position equal to after in the x path also like x path expr here like we have to mention at the red or like let's say the field first at the red name equal to id position after let me add these two fields not only two fields like let's say i want to add here the first right that i want to add after this id field and like let's say after this create uid i want to add write uid like this all right so yeah that is also possible like let's say in a specific single view in this view you want to extend multiple x path like this or multiple fields that is also possible so it is not always fix like if you use this one and if you want to use another x path you have to create a new view like the whole code no you can use here directly like this this is the first one this is the second one like this all right let me refresh the patch and now you can see here like id is like the right that is here and write uid is here after this 
create UID field. So like this way you can use the position as the after position. So after this mention field, not only the field, all right, you can also use the group by like let's say after the button you want to display that is also fine like let me show you how like xpath expr double slash button at the red name equal to so here you can see this is the name let me copy position after and here let me add this right UID let me comment this one to prevent a duplicate fields in the front end side all right that's the reason I'm just trying to comment this codes now you can see the after the button you, you want to see this field that is also fine but here again it's don't it's not a fix always like you have to always update the field you can also add button here that is also fine you can see like this button So you can see you just added this button after this button position so like this way you can extend much as much using the position and the after after option so i hope you understood this after option in the position as a position attribute and in case you have a doubt related this discussion, please comment below and see you in next session.